I also don't like using the microphone. Can everybody hear me okay? Great, thank you. Uh, like I said, I'm Manuel Santamaria. I'm uh, actually pursuing my second bachelor's degree at uh, UTA, this time in physics. My first degree was uh, BA in interdisciplinary studies. So, uh, I titled this Moving Forward the Hard Way. As you can see, everything, everything that I do ha always has a problem with it, associated. So, uh, since I was a little kid, my first love was always astronomy. And so I decided, well, I'd go to college and get a physics degree. Uh, so I signed up to the University of Puerto Rico in Macau. Uh, it was a physics applied to electronics. They had a small observatory. They had a public outreach uh, program where they let uh, high school students come over to the planetarium and to take a look to the telescope. And uh, I was able to get a little bit of research exposure there with uh, studying uh, uh, asteroids. Uh, we were able to track the uh, movement of some asteroids just using the charts and then able to pinpoint it with a telescope and do a little bit of a spectroscopy with them to determine what they were made of. I did that for about uh, six months. But then uh, life uh, threw me the curve number one. I, uh, I uh, had to leave my house uh, and I decided to go to the military so I left without a degree to change my career the first time and join the army. Uh, Got to work on helicopters, work on airplanes, and uh, got to work in an office for the first time in my life. Usually I was doing just manual labor, so I kind of like that. <laughs> so uh, I had a plan, I had a six year commitment in the Army. I said, well, I'd take three years to save money and go to school and be able to self finance my education, but uh, at the time, also business kind of got into my interest and mm -hmm. started looking at what that was. And my life curve number two was I got hurt in a jump and I uh, mm -hmm. got dismissed from the military on a medical uh, issue. I basically broke my leg. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I got injured, uh, it was just about the time where the internet was coming up. Yes, I'm dating myself a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> The rise of the computers, uh, where it's, you, know, you could finally buy one, you know, had to you know, get a mortgage in your house and get another computer. And uh, my brother just got hired by Microsoft that same year. So that was pretty interesting to me. He was making good money and doing a job that he loved. So I changed my career again and I moved to Texas following my brother. Uh, it was supposed to be a temporary stop because I actually wanted to end up here in California. I thought ah, I'd get a job with Microsoft also and move to California. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, so I did like UTA, joining uh, the University of Texas at Arlington. I enrolled in CSC, <coughs> trying to pursue going through uh, computers and all that stuff. Uh, I like CSC because you were able to do hardware and software. And I was, uh, for the first time, exposed to programming, which comes in handy for everything. So please, uh, if you get a chance to do it, I'm pretty sure your, your degrees include some kind of a course in that. But that sucked. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I changed my career again. I needed a little bit more human interaction. I could not be in front of a computer by myself at 3 o'clock in the morning searching for a period that was misplaced in a program that had 3,000 lines. <laughs> so that's, that's too much. So my GI Bill was running out. I had to finish something. So I figured, oh, there's money in real estate? And you can, you can be more than a realtor in that thing? My family has some land in the Dominican Republic. I can probably develop some of it. So I got a degree in interdisciplinary studies in international real estate development. And it was the time to make a choice. Either I will... Uh, Continue being a substitute teacher after graduation. That was the time that we had the first crash in the market. Or I finally got a job as an appraiser and discovered that there were very limited choices there. I could either have no love and money or love and no money. <laughs> so I chose the money. <laughs> Where you change number four? I uh, tried to do it my way and have a little business by myself, but I discovered that there are no friends in business. They will stab you in the back whenever it comes to money. Uh, I had no steady income, I was a contractor, and I had no love for what I was doing and no money. So I tried something else, changed careers again, 
and now I went to a corporation where uh, I was too nice for the competition, it was just too cutthroat and I don't play those games. Mm -hmm. So I had to appraise again, I didn't like that anymore, mm -hmm. but it was a good opportunity. So I changed careers again and this time I got my own business with a couple of investors and okay. that was just at the beginning of the mortgage crisis. Uh, the investor got nervous, pulled out, shut down our, our uh, business, and I found out that it's not a glitch in the matrix. People will stab you in the back when it comes to uh, money. So there are no friends in business. Another career change, I had a long road to go, and I learned a huge lesson in humility. Uh, because I spent nine months without a job, and I had to reconsider what the hell I was doing. I was not being smart enough in what I was doing. So I chose the love and not the money, and came back to UTA do what I love. I like physics, I got astrophysics, my long term goal was to get a PhD in astrophysics. I work as an educator at the planetarium and as a lab instructor and I love it. But I changed again because now I got to focus. I got uh, uh, life goes on. I love to teach. I have a family to take care of, or sort of a family. I got kids that I need to take care of. Mm -hmm. So I figure out that I am finally an adult. So I decided to teach science. I applied for a teacher certification, sorry, and uh, continue with my higher education with a master's degree, hopefully. And I still like UTA, so I'll continue on the master's degree there. I'll probably finish in three years after I apply. And this time I'm going to stick to it. No more career changes for me. Thank you. <laughs>